A legendary supercar comes to BeamNG with this new free mod. It's the McLaren F1. This mod has just dropped for free on the BeamNG forums. I'm going to show you some of its epic features and we're going to take it on a high speed test drive. So the McLaren F1 was built between 1992 and 2000. It was the first McLaren road car. Only 106 were produced. It's powered by an astonishing 6.1 litre BMW V12. Produced producing 618 horsepower. And this mod is really nicely detailed. You can see the gold foil that lines the engine bay. That helps the engine keep cool because gold reflects the heat. It's just as detailed in the interior. The driver sits in the middle and then there are passenger seats either side. And the dashboard lights up in green. We even get illumination on the pedals. So this car can hit a top speed of 240 miles per hour and it does 0 to 60 in just 3.2 seconds. When this car was launched, it was the fastest production car in the world and to this day it is the fastest naturally aspirated car ever produced. We do have a custom V12 engine sound which is great as you'd expect the handling is really really good. There is a little bit of understeer but we do have a lot of downforce at, all at the back because of active aero. I will show you the active aero a bit later. It's pretty well modelled and it revs up to seven and a half thousand rpm such a glorious screaming noise what about a crash test well into this yellow brick wall and oh wow the doors come off yeah it's not bad for a real world car mod you can see the interior has deformed slightly look at the wheel jittering about there so this mod has five configs but we were just in the press car and all of the other ones are basically variations of that we've got slightly different colors and interior trims now there is a paid version of this mod it adds four extra configs which bring basically the race spec versions of the mclaren f1 to beamng so this mod is by a modder called Frix. they're quite a well-known paid beamng modder and to access the paid version it's $15 on a monthly subscription. Now Frix argues that you also get loads of other cars with that subscription like Lamborghinis and Koenigseggs. Personally for me I don't think it's worth it so in this video we're only going to be checking out the free version which is called the Pocket Edition. So here's one of the other configs and it's in silver. The interior is like this cream Alcantara. I quite like it really. This mod does have a frunk but there's absolutely no space in here because we've got the sound system and the battery places to put the coolant in so where do you put the luggage well that's where this comes in we've got the door here and then if we open the luggage compartment oh my goodness we've got a side luggage compartment basically only room for one suitcase we've got kind of a duffel bag in there mclaren were very kind and gave you another luggage compartment really really cool detail there and did you notice the butterfly doors they are absolutely beautiful i love anything gullwing or butterfly they're brilliant. Now we do have ESC modes. We've got the VMAX mode we're in right now for top speed and high downforce. And you can see the active aero here. When I press the brake at high speed, this thing will flip up. But in high downforce mode, it's basically on all the time to give you that bit more downforce at the back. And it really does make a difference. This thing is brilliant around the corners. You can get a little bit of tail out action if you're in the right gear. To be honest, I think you need to go into first gear. So here we go. Whoa. Oh, yes. Wow, it drifts really well. Although, do we need more or less downforce at the back, right? I don't know, maybe we're in VMAX mode with less downforce. Is it any better? You know what? I think it's worse. But what I really want to try out is a high speed run on the highway. Let's try and hit that 240 mile per hour top speed. So we're on the highway now. Let's check if we're in VMAX mode. Yes, we are. Okay, let's floor it. Go round the toll booth. And this has a six speed manual gearbox. Well, that's 155 in fifth gear. Still accelerating. Can we get to 200? Right, there is 200. And we're still accelerating. This can definitely do 240. I'm sure of it. 215. Whoa, losing control. Oh, I think we just... Whoa, that is quite a drift. Whoa, the engine's come out. Yeah, we just hit 220 before we crashed. But look at the engine go. And the body of the car comes to a rest. But look at my poor engine. Oh, no. It is really high detail, this engine model. I love it. Okay, we're at the racetrack now. We're going to take it around here. And look at this black version. Oh, my goodness. That is a sexy car. Inside, we've got a mix of grey and red Alcantara. Although, I think the red is actually leather. Hmm. Okay, we're in high downforce mode. And look at these mirrors. They are crazy. I don't really know. I think they're meant to be 
rear view mirrors, but we've got one on each side. Yeah, I, I do like the free seat configuration here. It's very unusual being sat in the middle, but does make for a very enjoyable driving experience. So, as we push our into the corner, oh yeah, it does seem to have a, just a little bit of understeer. You can kind of counteract it by pushing on the throttle. Oh, you just have to try this out. And for free, there's a lot of value in this mod. It is unfortunate that it does have those paid extra configs. I'm, I'm more of a fan of the stock McLaren F1. I think it's more of a classic design. I'm not so into racing cars, so yeah. This, oh, it's brilliant. Oh, look at it. And it sounds incredible. Okay, over the crest of the cylinder, to brake at the right time. We're going to brake now. You can see the active aero has come up. Maybe brake just a little bit early there, but how does it handle around this corner? Oh, yeah, pretty good. A little bit of a drift on the way out. Oh, we're in the wrong mode. There you go. High downforce. Need to make sure we're always in that. Must have pressed the button and turned it off. You don't want to do that. Okay, corkscrew corner. Second gear seems fine. Oh, a lot of understeer there. Whoa, it is, I mean, it's not a heavy car, but I think it's better at more sort of long corners where you can keep the speed up. Corners like that, maybe not so good. This mod does have brake glow, as you can see. That's a really nice feature. Only the front brake seems to be lighting up. I'm not sure if the back brake has it too. Oh, and the under tray has come off. Oh dear, look at it jiggling about. Okay, what about drifting around the racetrack? I'm sure we can do a bit better here with longer corners. So, oh, it doesn't want to drift in second gear, which is very odd. Okay, here we go. No! It's just too grippy. Really rev it up. It's got a very, very quick revving engine, which doesn't actually help that much for drifting. Oh, oh, this is good. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, oh, nearly. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, dear, that's bad. Yeah, it's just too grippy. But look at those exhausts. And are they covered in gold as well? Oh, and I like this interior. All wrapped in grey Alcantara. Love it. Well, that was the McLaren F1 for BeamNG. A free mod by Frix available on the BeamNG forums. I've left a link in the description down below. Let me know what you think of this mod and the McLaren F1 in general. I think this is a classic and legendary supercar. And without it, well, the automotive industry would not be the same today. Also, let us know down in the comments if you did go and purchase the $15 add-on, which brings the for race car configs. Was it worth it? Do you think it was worth it? Would you recommend it to anyone else? Well, that's all from me. If you'd like to see another supercar mod for BeamNG, click the video on the screen right now. It's of the Gumput Apollo. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.